Friends, TGIF, I trust that you're having a good day. You're going to love this audio because it is guiding you how to become a deliberate creator. You have to change your mindset. It's all about mindset and momentum to apply these techniques. Please go to my old audios to understand about momentum and mindset. Using headphones and earphones will enhance your pleasure. Wishing you an awesome Friday. Have a good one. Enjoy and chill. Now, what is it that you want to talk about here? Because what's been happening to you is as we introduce a new thought, you're coming with us. You're coming with us so much. You almost can't remember what you sat down here to ask about. Well, I, I, but the question is really, I mean, so I guess you've answered it in a way. I just want to, we did, but what do you think the question was? The question was, if you are your creator, if you're creating your, which you are, since, since you are, I sorry, am the creator of my own experience, since I am the creator of, of my experience, then how do I navigate the unforeseen influences that come in and you've answered simply by um... by doing it in advance this is a big question and this is a big answer because most people don't spend too much time making sure that they're in this receptive mode they sort of go where the wind blows if good things happen they feel good if bad things are happening they feel bad so their point of attraction is sort of up for grabs so they're just reacting to that and reacting to that and reacting to that it's what we call very conditional living having vibrational and therefore emotional responses to conditions well there's no deliberateness in that where on the other side of that if you decide how you want to feel and you do your best to feel that way as much as you can now the conditions are going to respond to your vibration rather than you responding to your conditions and once you get a handle on this right now for many of you as you hear these words you feel resonance with them but as you get out into your life experience the words will fade and so will the influence from them so words don't really teach and words don't really have any lasting meaningful impact on your experience but if you hear words and you feel resonance and then you deliberately meditate you deliberately tune you deliberately define what you want you pay attention to how you feel so you start watching it so you begin to notice that as you're coming out of meditation and you have an impulse to do something and it's strong so you do it and then it leads to something really good now you have that correlation now you've witnessed the laws of the universe working for you because you've allowed yourself to receive so now they mean something to you now it's not just hearing something that sounds good now it's knowledge and that only has to happen one or two or three times before you've got it before you understand that my mind is powerful and the reason my mind is powerful is because my emotions help me to guide it and the universe is responding to the direction of my thoughts I am the creator of my point of attraction I am the creator of my point of attraction so now think about it through life you've created this vibrational reality and in this vibrational reality is everything that you want to be do or have and your inner being who is you is right in the midst of that and law of attraction is responding to that so this point of attraction is powerful and it's real and it's you and it's yours and it's working on your behalf but where are you human one where are you in relationship to it are you complaining and therefore don't have access to it are you worried and therefore don't have access to it or did you meditate today and tune into the frequency of it so what it is is flowing to you incrementally and satisfyingly occurring to you so that your movement through life is inspired from this knowing so this is what trips you up a little bit you created this reality and it's now it's present tense and we know that it is because we are there with it we know that it exists it is a vibrational reality that is going to play itself out in physical terms well since it's still going to play itself out in physical terms you want to call it future tense you don't want to call it now reality we want you to accept that it's now and we want you to tune into it now and we want you to respond to it now and we want you to see the evidence of it now and that's how you understand that you are the deliberate creator of your own experience but most humans they don't want the new that they've asked for to be now they want to stand over in the reason that they asked for it and they keep making that now 
here's the whole thing that makes your life slower than it needs to be you think that what is manifested is present tense and we think that what is vibrational is present tense and oh boy when you accept that the way this all feels is present tense and you follow the feeling of it so that what it is is manifesting oh talk about a paradigm shift talk about an explosion of consciousness when what is now in your vibration becomes now in your manifestation that's what you came for and you know that don't you you can feel that can't you but you get sidetracked show it to me now and then I'll have an emotional response no have an emotional response and then you'll see it no show it to me now and I'll have an emotional response no find the feeling place of it tune into it and let it turn into things right before your eyes because of your focus because of your attention there really is only one now it's now it's now but for us here we are in this room and you can look around this room and you can see one another and you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch and you call that reality but there's a reality that is so much bigger than the reality that is manifesting right now because all that's really manifesting right now is that there are a few hundred people sitting in a room together in a pretty nice room and listening to some words but you are so much more than the now that you are letting manifest and we want you to stand back just a little bit and feel the bigness of the now that your inner being has which includes all the successful things that are coming to you and all the relationships that are coming to you and more money than you ever have any sensible use for and a freedom of moving about and a spirit of autonomy and an understanding of your value and the ability to uplift and be uplifted in other words what's in your vortex is huge in relationship with the puny squandry minuscule mediocre little piece of now that you're letting manifest it's so much more you see so when you catch glimpses of it conceptually and then you have some negative emotion and you don't worry about it because you say oh boy did I launch more into my vibrational reality then you affirm and in my vibrational reality my inner beings got hold of it and it's gestating and it's evolving and the cooperative components are coming and oh boy it's big and I'm really gonna like it when those thoughts turn to things but meanwhile here it is those thoughts don't need to turn to things for me to be happy because I'm joyful that those thoughts exist I'm joyful that this now reality is real I'm joyful that I created and I'm happy about everything that I did that caused it to be everything that I've ever lived that caused this to be hallelujah for that it's a wonderful wonderful thing that it exists and now this is answering that earlier question about how much just to allow and how much to deliberately create now I'm gonna chill and I'm gonna love and I'm gonna know and I'm gonna quiet my mind and I'm gonna feel good and I'm gonna bask and I'm gonna do as many nice things as I can for myself to hold myself in this place of receiving and I'm gonna follow those impulses I'm gonna follow them home I'm gonna follow them I'm gonna follow that inspiration and I'm gonna take delight in every 888887777 that happens I'm gonna take delight in every single piece of me getting to witness the universe working on my behalf that's what you're gonna do yeah. Yeah, yeah enough really good this is a real